you might be wondering slope of a line and this line that we're going to be looking at is not a straight line which is vertical but a non-vertical line and this non-vertical line includes the following when you're given a particular graph in this case we have our y and this here is our x by labeling this and we have the line that is assigned in this particular direction no, that was pretty nice straight line anyways moving on this line is created by usually creating points and this point in here we are assigning this as p naught which has its coordinates to be x0 y0 and on the other hand we have this other point which is p1 to be having its coordinate x1 y1 now take note that of course we need to determine the following which is to find the slope and to determine the slope we have to do the following which is in this case determining what the direction is on the horizontal and it is assigned in this case as our x1 minus x0 usually we do the absolute value if you want to in terms of the scale of how long the line is but in terms of the direction you don't need the absolute value moving on we have our other one which is our y which is our y1 minus our y0 and the combination is going to give us the following for our slope to be equal to our y1 minus y0 divided by our x1 minus x0 now what is the goal of this video the goal is to show the relationship between the slope which is shown right here and the tan function and the tan function is really interesting in terms of how we address a particular shape of a particular kind which is called a triangle and not only a triangle but specifically looking at a right angle triangle so looking at this right angle triangle that we have right here we can actually observe it in this particular graph and this graph here looking at the direction in terms of the x and the y actually shows that there is a shape that is created here which is the right angle symbol right over there therefore we can determine that hey this forms a right angle triangle and this formation of a right angled triangle is going to introduce other things that are really important here when it comes to the tangent which includes the following the inclination the inclination is looking at where the angle is created between the line and the horizontal which is shown right here we assign this to be alpha and this is not only determined right here but it's also found somewhere on this particular graph and it connects really well to the triangle that we see right here which of course is found right here and so we are able to determine that alpha is not only found in here but also found over here now since they are equal then we can move on to addressing angle in terms of our specific sides and how this side relationship will enable us to find the relationship to the tan so moving in here we see that where we have our particular alpha to be equal to the angle and this angle here is determined to be called the inclination the inclination is going to address the following which is the angle between the green or in this case the red line which we see right here and the x-axis and so therefore we have this particular term to be addressed and the x axis therefore we are going to connect our specific alpha to this particular side and by determining that we assume that if there's an angle given here which is not a 90, 90 degree angle we can assume that this is of course the opposite side to this particular alpha angle therefore our y1 minus y0 is equal to the opposite as the side while the other side 
that is not the hypotenuse is called the adjacent which is assigned to be the x1 minus x0 therefore once we have this assigned we can then come up with the conclusion that in here we can determine that our specific slope which is expressed as m to be equal to not only y1 minus y0 over x1 minus x0 but also this here is similar to our y1 minus y0 to be in here the opposite which we are going to write right here because it is facing the angle alpha but also we have the other side which is right here to be the adjacent therefore this here is equal to our y1 minus y0 to be equal to opposite divided by our x1 minus x0 which is indeed our adjacent and this is equal to our tan alpha so in conclusion what are we addressing here we address that yes our tan theta is the angle that is made between our line and the horizontal axis which is the x-axis and this is alpha tan or tan alpha to be equal to our opposite of our adjacent which is rightly shown as y1 minus y0 which is the rise and on the other hand we have our x1 minus our x0 to be our run which is the adjacent which is shown right here as the ratio between the opposite and the adjacent this is also equal to our specific slope of the line thank you for following me through this trail i appreciate it hit the comment down below let me hear your thought about tangent and how this relates to the slope of a line and see you all on the next one all the same stay smart as always and believe in yourselves